Welcome soulmate. To attach crinoline or horsehair to our fabric, this is what we're going to do. You have the main fabric, then you have your lining on top of it, right? After that, you're going to place your crinoline or horsehair, whichever one you call it, on top of it, right? Now, while this is placed on top of it, you don't have to drag it. If you drag it, it will not curve. So you can even use your hands to make it come together as in don't pull it don't drag it allow it the way it is or even form a little curve on it by using your hand to push it make it have some uh, excess like as you can see in the video you see the way it is this is what will make it to dangle to have these waves that gives it its beauty right so don't pull it don't drag it leave it the way it is if you really need it to curve very well for you okay so this is what we're going to do until we finish sewing this around and remember that you need to cut your fabric in a flay form for it to curve except you want it to just be straight if you need it to be straight you're going to cut whatever you're cutting straight right but if you need it to curve very well for you, you need to cut a flay. You need to cut something that has frills or just flay, okay? 360, um, 720, it's just going to follow that same pattern and give you what you want. So I'm just going to sew this all the way down until i'm done sewing remember place your main fabric place your lining and then place the horse hair in it this is so that after sewing the horse hair will be in between the lining and the main fabric you don't have to sew it for the horse hair to be seen okay so after sewing we're going to top stitch and while top stitching, sew on the line of the lining, on the area of the lining, pushing the horse um, towards the lining part. Okay, stop stitching will make it to stay in place, to make it to move backwards towards the lining area. So it's not difficult. This is something you can do. You can just try doing it and see how it comes out beautiful for you. We are done. Thank you.